Bye, Drakey. Love you. There went that. Guys, I'm going to need a new car. I'm trying to unlock it, and it just isn't working. Okay. Oops. Let me put you guys up here. I'm going to see Jessica, my nail tech, at 4.30. I made my own cold brew at home. This is how my finger healed up. I don't know if you guys could see that. My car is hugging me right now as we speak. It just got an oil change. Do you ever notice your car drives differently after an oil change? I know mine does. The place that I go to, they always try and get me. He started talking about my brake fluid, my rear differential. Oh, they did top off my coolant, which I appreciate. Then when I thought about it, I was like, wait, I have coolant at home. So this is what I got. This is what I got from Home Goods. I saw this and I fell in love with this. This was $12.99. Someone is feeling better. Okay, I also picked up this and I don't like it. I feel like it's an eyesore. Also, I'm turning this whole section into a coffee, a coffee tea section. I found this absolutely adorable. $3.99 and I'm gonna use this to put cinnamon and uh, cocoa powder. I'm excited to see this boy eat a banana. Yummy? He's, he's giving me the thumbs up. That's his thumbs up. Yep. Mm -hmm. wow. Guys, wow. we're here at Home Depot. What did you just say to me, Drake? I'm scared. Yeah. You're, you're more scared than you thought? By the way, it was his idea to come over to this section. I was trying to make a left to go the other way and he wanted to come over here and scare himself. Just stand there and stare at the floaties and these bone dogs. Scary. They're too scary? Okay, let's go the other way. We'll go the other way. You wanna go the other way? No. Okay. I'm gonna grab some pumpkins. I don't see these. You just said that you were scared. Well, what I'm going to pick up, this is sandpaper. I also picked up some of these. I feel like the ones that I get from the Dollar Tree um, die out super fast. And we grabbed some pumpkins. I needed some detergent and I was supposed to go to Costco for it, but uh, since it's here, I just figured I'll just grab it from Home Depot instead of going to Costco. We need air freshener for the bathroom. We also needed some toilet bowl cleaner. And I also picked up a Simple Human garbage can. I'm going to pick up a paintbrush. Go put that back, please. What is this? I'm going to use this to paint. I just left the nail shop with Millie. This is a very nice orange. I am just here to pick up a Keurig. So if I read my email, I would have known that I have to go upstairs to the left corner to pick up this Keurig. This is my first time, did I say that? Oh, this is it. You guys, how cute is this? This is the exact one that I just purchased. It makes one cup. Oh, it's two for 22. Okay, let's see. Let's try this French roast. This says intense and smoky. Okay, so here is an update. That was super fast. She told me that the next time I do this, like um, order it online, that I can actually cut the line because I already purchased my item. I was just picking up. I know my husband is going to be so excited. what my nail what my nail tech Jessica did she ended up gluing my cut together 
and it works pretty good. My husband, <laughs> it's funny because my husband actually suggested that I do this, but it just sounded so crazy. And then Jessica was like, I do it all the time. Here, let me just do it. So she opened a brand new bottle and glued my cut together. <laughs> I'm back here at Home Depot, switched out the garbage can. We're gonna get this more oval one and try this out at home. The other one was just too small. And then I picked up the scarecrow. Picked up this paint for the bathroom. Picked up a couple more pumpkins. It's so much easier when it's just me and Blaze. So I went there to get toothpaste and razors and I spent $68. The garlands I'm going to use outside. This also is from the dollar spot. It's just a hanging sign. We needed some freezer bags. I just grabbed, got this from the dollar spot too, from the dollar spot. Then I picked up some razors. I personally like using disposable razors. Drake needed some crayons. This is the toothpaste I went to pick up. It's naturally friendly, hello is the brand. For a long time, I've been struggling using the smaller um, face pads, but why call these face pads? Okay, cotton ovals, that's what I need. Cotton ovals, not the regular cotton pads. This, I am very, 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 very excited to incorporate in everything. The kids needed their own lotion. The hub is addicted to my cold brew, so I have to grab him some. This week we're using Suave, so we go in between um, Aussie, Tresemme, Suave, Aussie, Tresemme, like we just rotate that way. Set a fill. Meal replacements. One more time, show. One more go! I'm so glad that my mom was able to take the boys to go support Aiden at his soccer game. How cute is he? Sense of style. Um, ooh, it feels good. To show you guys the style. But I love this. It curves down like it does a little swoop. I ordered a hunter green top and they refunded it to me so I only got this plum this plum top but I love the feeling can't wait to try it on look at my little puka shell he knows he's cute look at him look at oh, this no, little cutie didn't. pie Dad, hi <laughs> poor child you're so cute he heard what I said so it is about that time to get rid of um, old makeup or just makeup that I've just been hoarding and make room for new makeup. I did keep all of my makeup brushes, all of my lip liners and eyeliners, uh, but the rest of this had to go. A lot of this stuff um, I used maybe once or just swatched it for like photo purposes or maybe I was filming a video and just wanted to show it to you guys and then I just ended up never using it. Like I put it in the back. Um, in the back of my makeup collection and just never brought it back out So a lot of these um, I've used once or never used it or just swatched it and and that was pretty much it um, The ones that I hit pan and used a lot. There was still a lot of product left like I used that one a couple of times I've never used this Lorac palette, which is still in good shape. This one I used a couple of times but overall these palettes are still good. I didn't want to like throw them away or that would be so wasteful. But anyways, I ended up giving, um, see this one I hit pan and that one was really good. But if I kept that old um, contour and highlight palette, I would never use the ones that I have now. So I'm just get getting rid of a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, just getting rid of it, making room for new stuff. This is a bag full of like uh, lip stuff lipsticks, lip glosses, lip stains. This one's a Kat Von D lipstick. This next bag has eyelashes and um, eyeshadow sticks, primers, eyeliners, like liquid liners that I probably swatched on my hand and never used it ever again. So I just needed to get rid of a lot of this stuff.
checking on the house? Yeah. Let me look. see it. Look, where's my toys? <laughs> so cool. Yep, everything looks good. Everything doesn't look like too much steel. <laughs> Guys, this is so good. I'm going to put it on the screen. You have to try this. It is the Grande Cold Brew with cold foam, one pump of hazelnut, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and light cream. This is really good. It's like my new go-to. I think we won the way Papa was celebrating, but we'll see. So we won the last game, but ranked low for the entire tournament. So we were very excited to go home because it was very hot and we wanted to celebrate Grandpa Cece's birthday. It is my father-in-law's birthday. Happy birthday, Grandpa Cece. I'm gonna pick up these little cupcakes for the little kids to blow with these candles. Me and Papa decided on this snowberry cake. And I think it's just, she said there, it's white cake with the berries on top. It looks good. That looks like white chocolate on the side. It's so abstract. It looks like a, a fancy cake. And then I didn't want to get a big cake. And I didn't want to get a small one because we were going to get this one. So I feel like this one is kind of in between, like in the middle. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Blake. And then we'll say a prayer for Bob's birthday. Okay, ready? Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. So the cake turned out to be really yummy, but this is the end of the vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one.